In fact, I'm never here to give up. I'm here to go up. But I learn through the pain. I struggle some days in my life. But I learn through the pain. Sometimes I want to quit and give up. But I realize it's not my time. In fact, I'm never here to give up. I'm here to go up. I'm here to soar beyond the clouds. I've been homeless. I wanted to give my life up. I have had everything thrown at me. I have been rejected. But I rose above it. Because I know who I am inside. The question is, do you know who you are inside? Your circumstances, your challenges, your losses, everything that you have endured in your life, if you're standing on your two feet right now, if you got breath in your body, you are not done. You have power right now. You have strength right now. Don't let nothing hold you back. I'm here to give you the message of hope and understanding that no matter what struggle that you are going through, no matter what pain you are going through, let your pain be your passion. Let it flow through your veins. Don't quit on your destiny. Don't give up because you had significant losses. Don't feel that because you were rejected in your life that you cannot carry on. How many hours do you put into your craft? How much work are you putting into your ideas? How many times have you taken so many breaks that it pushed you back instead of pushing you forward? How much suffering have you put into your craft? How much suffering are you willing to endure for success? This is the time you need to ask yourself. You need to get clarification within yourself and understand what it is to be successful. Success doesn't take vacations. Ask yourself this. How many champions have you seen in your lifetime? Or do you know any champions? Perhaps maybe you were a champion at one time in your life. But you took a vacation. See, the thing about champions is that there are very few of them. But there are many more people that do not understand the significance of what it means to apply significant hard work. And to be able to get the hard work in and being able to persevere in their lives. I understand that you get tired. I understand you have those off days. But there are no off days when it comes to success. You have to have the ability to stand on and stand up and rise up to the occasion and getting the work done. You got to suffer through success. You have to believe and your possibilities. You have to understand that there's only one person that can get it done. If the rest of the team is not doing what they need to do, then you have to take the charge. Maybe you don't feel you have leadership qualities, but you do. We are all positioned to lead some point in time in our lives. But are you prepared to suffer? Are you prepared to go through the nights and the daytimes of many hours of applying everything you have within yourself have you had that point in your life when you was just so tired and you couldn't push that next hour or that second hour out because you needed your sleep oh i need to catch up on my sleep you can't catch up on your sleep there is no such thing as catching up it means nothing but going up to the next level in your life that's what it's about it's been a long day been a long night you've been putting in so many hours 
But yet, are you in a position to quit? Or are you in a position to go harder? Are you in a position to go stronger? Are you willing to dig and go as far as you can in your life? Are you willing to suffer? See, you got to understand, when I talk about champions, when I talk about people who are ultimately successful, you got to remember these people don't take breaks. They don't know what rest is. When everybody's telling you you should rest, you should be working. Because if you're resting, then you're taking away your best of yourself. Now, I'm not telling you to commit suicide and bury yourself in your work. There is always going to be a time and place for everything. But what is everything? What is everything to you? And how far are you going to give yourself more? How much more are you willing to give it yourself? Success, it doesn't take breaks. It's not going to apologize. It's not going to wait for you. It's not going to say, hey, I'll give you a little bit more time and I'll come pick you up later. No, it doesn't work like that. That's not how success works. But you got to be the one to take the stand. You got to be the one to go forward. How far and how much are you willing to give of yourself? Are you prepared to suffer? Do you know how many hours it takes to be the best of yourself? Do you know how much work you got to put in? You can't be in and out with your project. You can't be in and out with your craft. Your ideas are your ideas. Your dreams are your dreams. Now go after it. But understand, there's going to be some rocky times. There's going to be a lot of hills that you're going to have to climb. There's going to be a lot of obstacles that are going to try to stand in your way. But you don't have to take these obstacles and hold on to them. Utilize everything you have in your heart and in your mind and in your soul and connect with these things so that you can get the most of your life. So feel and understand that success doesn't come easy. You don't deserve a reward if you didn't apply the work. You hear often, people will say, work smart, not hard. No champion, no champion works easy. There is no easy and work. Work is work. That means you got to put in the work if you want to get something out of it. Just pace yourself but get to work. You don't have to go fast, but get to work. You don't necessarily have to go slow, but get to work. This is it, this is that time, and this is that moment right now. You look at all of these people today. Look at all the successful people. How many times have you looked at your television or you saw someone driving up the block with a nice vehicle or someone living in a nice home on top of a hill and you said, man, I wish I had a house like that. Why are you wishing instead of doing? Why are you wishing instead of going after it? You can have anything you want in your life. Now, I'm not saying materialistic things matter. But let's be honest, we all want the finer things in life. But work must be applied. Work must be done. Suffering is necessary. Putting in those long hours is necessary. Struggling a little bit is necessary. While everyone is sleeping, you should be working. The only friend you got right now at this moment is success. But let me tell you something about success. Success don't have many friends. Success doesn't hold on to many people. Success doesn't connect with everybody because everybody doesn't have the ability to connect to success. So when people question you why, you should respond, why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I do it? Why can't I do it? There's no reason for me to go back now. I need to do this. I must do this. And I will carry on. So with or without the distractions in your life, you must continue to carry on. You go to sleep at night, dream, and then make it a reality. And when you're up and you're moving around and everybody's taking a break, you continue to carry on. You continue to suffer those hours. You continue to dig a little harder. When you're going out, 
if you're working out in the gym and you've been pushing the same weight over and over and over again sooner or later you're gonna have to suffer and lift a little bit more heavy weight if you want to get stronger if you want to get that tough mass if you want to build up everything you do requires evolving so continue to evolve and press on suffer suffer through it build on it grow from it keep it moving and from the bottom of my heart conduct your business when everybody's out there making mistakes when everybody's out there not being responsible are you going to be the one to be responsible if you are a father if you are a mother it is your responsibility to be the best parent that you can be if you are in charge of a company or you're a manager or anything that requires your responsibility to step up then it is up to you to lead by example you have to take the lead not always following but leading the pack leading in the right direction doing the things that will take you to the levels that you need to go and beyond them but you can't hold back anymore and you can't say I'm sorry all the time because your sorry just ain't gonna cut it step up to the plate and be responsible step up to the plate and do what's necessary step up to the plate and do all the things that is required and then we can talk then we can talk about the next thing in your life then you can have that intimate conversation with yourself within yourself and realize that this is it now I got more work to do there comes a time in your life where you have to step up to the plate there comes a time in your life where you have to understand the significance of what it means to be responsible to have the responsibility to understand that you have to take full control of your actions now many people tend to wait and not get themselves in a position to where they need to be and to be accountable for what they do in their lives being responsible taking full action of everything you do in your life depends on you now many people are waiting for something they're waiting for something to happen they're waiting for someone to give them the okay to move on but this is not something that you need to be thinking about you have got to realize that it is up to you to make moves to move forward to get the job done being responsible taking full responsibility to everything that you do from the way you speak the way you walk maybe even the way you dress because your presentation and everything you do depends on you I'm here to let you know right now ladies and gentlemen that you got to be the one to take action you got to be the one to realize that it is up to you to get things done and get it done the right way sometimes people just don't want to be responsible they want to make excuses they want to hold back they're waiting for something as I said before waiting is not going to get the job done ask yourself when you get up in the morning what is your daily routine what is your routine every single day of your life what did you miss out on what did you forget and are you looking for someone to bail you out this is not how it works ladies and gentlemen this is the time for you to be responsible for your actions to have full capabilities of everything that you do moving forward in your life there's no time to say I'm sorry there's no time to say I quit when you're saying that you're sorry don't be sorry just do better do better in your actions because sorry doesn't always cut it 